Um, I haven't posted in a while, but here is a new tutorial. I'm going to be making a melody from scratch. I'm going to show how I make like my style of the sad e piano type melodies. Um, so this tutorial will show that. I'm just going to talk through my thought process while making stuff. And this loop will also be for sale. If you, uh, in the description, this loop will be in a loop pack that dropped today. If you're watching it the day this drops, um, it's 20 loops, 30 bucks. Um, so yeah, if you want to pick that up and support me, make beats with me, um, all that stuff, that is the best way to do it. So yeah, um, I'm going to get straight into this. The EP I know I've been using a lot is called AX Vintage EP in Xenology. Uh, I use the scale highlighting thing, so I have it set to G sharp minor. So pretty much I'm just going to go in here and start messing around and making a melody. I mostly just have like a bass note pattern in mind and then I just like this would be the chord like this would be like a seventh chord. Um, I'll just use those notes but I like to kind of space them out and have like a little pattern going. So maybe Something like that. I'm going to actually pitch this down an octave, and then here I'm going to do, we'll do that, and then we're going to go up like a little bit. We'll do D minor for this. And then just making the second time, it's gonna go down to A sharp here and then back up to C and I'm just adding like a little extra stuff. Do that and then it's gonna go like here. And whenever I do melodies like this where I want the pattern to be like the same thing twice, I always try and add some note that's different at the end so that it keeps it interesting. So this is the, you know, main piano. It's an extra note. And then I'm also gonna copy the bass notes, and just put them down an octave. And then we're gonna turn, pitch this down to like C minor. And so now that we've done that, I just go and find other sounds that I think will fit. Um, so it's like a softer sound. So since this is a softer sound, we're going to try and find some sounds with like more high end in them. Uh, I'm going to use Xenology for a lot of this, but you can use any plugin. You could use Purity, you could use Expand. Um, and I'm going to add like a cool choir thing. Also, this is in 140 BPM. I'm going to actually slow it down a little bit to like 136. And since I have the ghost notes, I can see the notes that I used for the other thing, so I'm just going to go in here. I might not use that note I used earlier. And I want like a lot of reverb on this. So I'm going to add Pancake, which is free. It's by the people who make Shaper Box. And uh, it's just an auto pan. It's just the one that I like the best. And then I'll turn that down a little bit. And so now that's like a little vocal string texture thing. Um, 
I'll also in Xenology add um, um, some guitar, like a nylon guitar. I use nylon guitar too. It's the same one from EXE by Wells. It's also in uh, Alive by Kiriano and Kuru. I'm gonna get rid of these. And then we're gonna add some delay to this. I love the default delay to preset, and I just turn the mix down. A little bit of EQing, get rid of some of the low end, and a little bit of the highs. And now I think that fits really good with the E piano. We're gonna pitch this down even more. Pitch down like two more. And so once I get to this point, like the main melody is pretty much done, you know? So now it's just completely accent things. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is add another vocal. Maybe like... Something like this. And it's gonna go with the chords. kind of doing fifths and then second time around I'm gonna do like this bring the velocities down something like that and um, now it needs something that kind of makes it a little bit more interesting. So I think I'm going to add the lead. Um, we're going to use a lead from my serum bank. If you want that, um, I'll also put a link to that in the description. Uh, I dropped a serum bank earlier this year. And for this, I just um, play around on the MIDI keyboard. If you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you can use your... Um, you can use your uh, like keyboard, like your typing keyboard, but I have a MIDI over here, so I do that. And uh, we'll, I usually use my MIDI to come up with a lead and then I click it in after. So I'll just let it play and freestyle some stuff and see what sounds good. Fell is frozen. Okay, now we're good. Thank you. 
This, I'm going to add crystallizer. There's a preset in crystallizer that I really, really like. It's under the echo reverse category. It's called reverse guitar nice. It's just kind of subtle. And then I'm going to also use digitalis. If you don't have digitalis, uh, I definitely recommend it. I love this plugin. I have a preset I made. And then I just turn the mix down a little bit, the corruption. And then I'm going to use another EQ to get rid of this low end because... That's pretty much the lead. So, I mean, honestly, at this point, it's mostly done. There's not a whole lot else that I would want to add to this one. Um, so, you know, you don't want to go too far to where it becomes too much going on. Like, I think this is, like, just perfect five-layer melody. Easy to figure out what the bass notes are. It's easy to follow along. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much this loop. That's how I make um, melodies. Uh, whenever I'm making beats from scratch or if I'm making loops to send out or for like loops for this kit This is my process. I just kind of go with the flow make a main melody and then I just keep going with it um, So yeah, I mean that's pretty much the whole thing uh, This loop included will be included in a kit with 20 other loops or 19 other loops. It's 20 total So if you want to get that it's in the description, uh, I would appreciate if you uh, bought it to support me and um, I'll not go so long without making videos it took me like a year to make another video like this so i'm sorry that i haven't been super active on youtube but uh, i'm going to be more active on here and on twitch so uh yeah i appreciate it um, check out in the description for the serum bank and the loop kit and also all my other links and all that stuff so yeah i appreciate everybody um here is the final loop All right, see you everybody, thank you.